Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Time News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be a quick two minute breakdown of the Brooklyn Nets versus Celtics series as we preview the final game as Bruce Brown, the key. Well, it might not be the final game, but it feels like it's going to be as the key for the Nets to fend off elimination is for Bruce Brown not to be the best damn shooter on the damn court. Uh, this, I did say it wrong when I was talking to my friend. I'm not going to name drop because I don't think his name, he wants his name to be mentioned. But when I was talking to my friend on PlayStation, I did say it wrong. It's not that it hasn't been an interesting series to follow. I just thought that the Celtics would not be up 3 I thought there was a series that might go six games. And in that perspective, be closer, tighter, and make it more interesting from that perspective. But overall, it was tight games. One-point game, 114-107, 109-103. It was tight games, but it was tight games in the capacity of, I felt, the Celtics, other than game one, did have the better handle on things most of the game because Kyrie and KD were crap in game two and game three. KD wasn't able to do anything in all three. Kyrie, you at least have game one where he was the carrying weight, and then KD let him down because KD was the reason they lost game one as far as I'm concerned because Kyrie carried. KD didn't even play game defense on the final possession and just let his man score to win the damn game. So that's inexcusable from the jump. And it was just all downhill from there as they were 6-4 and four in the last 10. Four game winning streak to end the season just to lose three to start. The Brooklyn Nets were. But in the contrast, the Boston Celtics, you got to give the hats off for them um, to be able to come in. And in the first game, it was really a combined effort. You had Brown score 20. You had Horford score 20. You had Smart score 20. You had Tatum score 31. Um, and then Brown was actually uh, 23. But the old three guys were over 20 and one guy was over 30. So obviously that's a great performance output from a good grouping of guys. They didn't have the most depth score, but when you have that from four, a uh, group of four, you're going to be set if you're the Boston Celtics. Then in game two. Two, Daniel Feist stepped up and had 15 and 6. Horford had a good game again of 16, 6, 2, and then two steals to go along with that stat line. And then a double-double by Jason Tatum. Wasn't his squeakiest game, but Brown stepped up with 22. They had more depth scoring in this game. That was the key for the Celtics. They had 10 from Pritchard, 17 from Williams, uh, 12 from Smart, and 22 from Brown. So if the Celtics continue to get the depth scoring of game 2, plus the great star power of Smart, Brown, and Tatum. It's done. It's over. It's gonzo. Uh, you can write off the white flag for the Brooklyn Nets. And then in game three, the Nets, uh, they did get great play from Brown again. Kyrie Irving did not shoot well. KD did not shoot well yet again. So in that game, the Celtics were able to take advantage yet again, as in that game, uh, Jason Tatum went ballistic and was one point shy of 40. Jalen Brown went ballistic again at 23, 4, 5, and 2. So he had a good game. And then Marcus Smart shipped in. But when you have one guy like Tatum go off in that game, they just step back and watch the party of Jason Tatum taking over. The Celtics did. And I think they are poised to get the series sweep. I hate predicting sweeps as a jinx. But also, I don't even mind if the Nets win. So I'm just going to predict the hell with it. I think they do have a good chance of getting a series sweep just because they have figured it out in all ways. They battled to the end. Marcus Smart played a great intuitive play on the final play, and this is going to be more of a four-minute video. Then in the second game, they had good depth scoring. Then in the third game, Tatum carried and Jalen Brown played great. So they found out every way to do it, where the Nets have been crap with their stars, and Bruce Brown has picked up the final two games. The only good game by a star player was Kyrie Irving in game one. So they need their stars in KD and Kyrie, who's supposed to be one of the best two in the playoffs, not even close to it this far. Step up or it's done. They're out of the postseason as this game starts at 7 tonight. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Please subscribe down below. Above on the easy-to-use widget to keep the channel growing to 2.30 or more by the end of April. We appreciate you guys' love and support this far. Peace out, everyone.